Good to be with you. I'm Zinclea Samoa. NBC News Daily starts right now. NBC News correspondent Rahima Ellis and NBC News business and data correspondent Brian Chung. Also with us, NBC News correspondent Antonia Hilton at Newark Airport. So, Rahima, I'll start with you. Anytime we hear about an outage to emergency services or hospitals, our ears pick up. So what should people know if they're trying to dial in right now? So it's going to take a little while. A lot of institutions now going analog who maybe have got grown accustomed to being digital. Antonia, I know transportation airports are one of those places. You've been at Newark all day. What are you hearing from folks who are trying to fly? And could people still run into issues this evening? Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, are set to hold their first campaign rally together this weekend. It will also be Mr. Trump's first rally since the election and joins me now from Milwaukee. Bree, it's good to see you. So what did Trump say about surviving that assassination attempt and how did the crowd react? Brewster, thanks so much and thanks for your reporting this week. We appreciate it. Coming up, we're peep bottom of the hour now. Here are some of the stories making headlines. Have the conversation because people can feel like, oh, mental health, oh, race. Yes. I don't know if I can touch yeah, that. Yeah. But I think if you approach it just human to human, yes. it can make such a difference. Yes. Dr. Tasha Brown, thank you for making a difference in our show. We appreciate it. <laughs> thanks for having me, as always. Well, thanks so much for being with us. We have a lot more news ahead, so don't go anywhere. You're watching NBC News Daily.